everybody? Johnny here. Hope you all are doing well. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you all a 12 bar blues solo. So I'm going to give you 12 licks that will go over an A blues. And you can use these uh, licks as just a standalone solo. You can memorize it and just play it from top to bottom if you want. Um, or you can just take the licks and play them as a standalone licks in your own playing. And whenever I teach you an A7 lick for this uh, solo, make sure that you're playing it over an A7 chord. These licks are tailored to the chord. So D7 licks go over D7, E7 licks go over E7. So um, an A7 lick over a D7 chord, probably not going to work. So make sure you're doing that. Also, make sure you like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. It helps keep me motivated, if you know what I mean. All right, let's dive in. So the first lick is this. Okay, so what we're doing here, we're picking the G string at the fifth fret and hammering onto the sixth fret. Okay, we're gonna come over to the B string and the high E string. We're gonna play those two. We're gonna play them separate. Make sure that you're doing this, uh, you're playing with the tip of your first finger. And then when you get the high E string, roll. Okay, so hyperextend your knuckle to get that high E string. You probably don't want to lift it because you're going to have a break in the sound. And um, to me, that just doesn't sound as good. So, so that'll 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 blend the two notes together if you get that rolling technique down. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is reach over to the eighth fret on the B string, pick that note with your pinky, and you're going to slide up a full step. Okay. Now, in the case that uh, I'm giving you a slide, you can do bends there also. So that's what this would sound like if we get it with a bend. Okay, so sounds perfectly fine. And then the next uh, lick, which is the first measure of D7, what we're going to do is we're going to bar the top two strings uh, at the fifth fret, B string and high E string. So we're going to play those together. And then we're going to come down on the seventh fret and the eighth fret um, with your third and fourth finger. So you're going to come down in a group, okay? So third finger is going to land on the B string seven, and your pinky is going to land on the high E string eight. So like that. So okay. And then you're going to lift right back up to grab this uh, barred, uh, these two barred notes over here at the fifth fret on the B and high E. Okay. Then what I want you to do is reach down and bar from the G string. So now we're barring G through high E. And we're gonna slide that little chord up and back. So we're going from the fifth fret to the seventh fret and back. Okay, so that whole D7 leg sounds like this. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we've got two measures of A7. The, this lick is the first lick I showed you. So this, you know, with a slide or a bend. And then we're gonna come in and play down this A uh, major and minor blues scale. So let me play it first for you. Okay, so what we've got going on here, high E string, okay, fifth fret. We're going to go down the B string, we're going to play eight and then five. So it's basically just pentatonic scale. And then we're going to go to the G string at uh, the eighth fret, we're going we're to pick the eighth and then go to uh, the seventh fret. And that's the minor blues part. Okay. And then we're going to come over to the 5th fret on the G string, pick that, and hammer on to 6. And that's the major blues part. Okay, so we've got this so far. Okay, and then we're going to come down on the 7th fret at the D string to resolve that phrase. Okay, and that will be our uh, two measures of A. So those two sound like this. You know, and however fast you want to play these or slow, you know, it's, it's entirely up to you. So, again, just make sure that you're playing these uh, however you want them to sound, okay? Um, next thing we have are two measures of D, and we're going to play this little triplety lick here. It's going to sound like this. Okay, so we're just going to play those with triplets. So basically what we're doing here is we're playing the high E string um, at the eighth fret and then the fifth fret. And then we're coming down with our third finger on the B string seventh fret. And we're going to play those again in triplets. So it's one triplet, two triplet. And so we've got two measures of that. Now those are going to go over two measures of D. Okay? So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Okay? And then we're going to run this major minor blues scale again. Okay? So this is the variation on the theme. High E string. Uh, B string, we're going to go at the 5th fret with the high E string. Then we're going to go to the uh, B string, 8, 5. Going down this minor blues part, 8, 7, 5, 6. 
Okay. Now we're going to take this to the seventh fret on the D string. Okay. But we're going to take it one step further, five on the D string, and then we're going to play a little chromatic -y blues line here. We're going to go seven, six, five, four on the A string. Okay. And that'll complete the second measure or the, the next two measures of A. So that whole lick sounds like this. So I played that from er, early on. So just that one lick, if I just, if I just isolate that one lick. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we've got um, a measure of E7. So our first measure of E is going to sound like this. Now we're going to take that D triplet lick that we played uh, here and we're going to move it up. Uh, two frets to make it E7. So we're going to still play the same triplet phrase, but we're not going to complete the last triplet. So it's one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four, okay? And then for a next measure of D that's going to happen, okay, we're going to go down a whole step and we're going to play that same phrase. So that's one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four, and by the way, up here, this was, this, you know, this E7 lick was 10 on the high E string, 7 on the high E string, and then 9 on the B string. Okay? Then back to that D7 lick, where we're not completing the full triplet at the end. And then we're going to run down this A set, uh, an A chord. Okay? So this is going to be an A lick. Same lick stuff I gave you prior. Okay, but right here, what we're going to do when we do this little major uh, blues thing, we're hammering on from five to six on the G. We're going to come over here. Let me play the lick for you. We're going to go down to the D string seventh, then the B, uh, D string fifth fret. And we're going to end the phrase like this. Okay, so. Okay, so that basically your second finger after you complete the phrase, your second finger is going to come over to the ninth fret on the A string, and we're going to crawl down the A string nine eight seven with our second finger so that we can make this chord at the end. So it's okay, and this chord is E seven sharp nine. So what we're doing is playing the second uh, finger at the seventh fret on the A. Your first finger is going to land at the D string at the uh, sixth fret. So D string sixth fret with your first finger. Your third finger is going to be at the G string seven. Okay. And your pinky is going to be at the B string eight. Okay. So what we're doing here is. Okay. So let me play that uh, solo or all 12 licks uh, from the beginning to end so that you can see how they all kind of are strung together and then uh, you guys can go have fun with this one. So this is how it starts out here. And that would be it. So that about wraps that one up. You guys have fun with that, and we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.